Hey everyone, my name is Austin McInnes and I have the honor of serving as the student director here at Highlands Church. You've made it so far. We are on day 19 of our 21 days of prayer and fasting and in the home stretch. I'm praying that God will meet you in these last two days as we press in and cross that finish line together. You can do it. I hope you enjoyed last night. It was such an impactful time in prayer. But I want to see everyone at the worship night this Friday at 7. You do not want to miss a powerful night where we can come together as a church, worship God, and let Him fill us up with everything we need to thrive as we begin this new year. So make plans to join us tomorrow at 7 p.m. And be sure to invite your friends and family, and we'll see you there. All right, guys, let's dive right in. I have absolutely loved going through the book of John all month long. Today, we're looking at John 19. We've been reading about the events leading up to Jesus's crucifixion, and we pick up our reading today after Jesus was sentenced to death and handed over to the Romans. Sometimes we have the right to do something, but that does not always mean it's the right thing to do. This is the beauty of surrender and Jesus, the perfect and blameless Son of God, demonstrated to us the power of surrender. In John 19, verse 10 through 11, Pilate says, Don't you realize I have the power to free you or to crucify you? And Jesus answers, You would have no power over over me if it were not given to you from above. Jesus could have stopped the brutal and gruesome process of his torture and crucifixion, but out of an abundance of love for us and surrendering to God's plan, he willingly subjects himself to suffering and death knowing that it was the only way we could receive our salvation and have a relationship with our Heavenly Father. It's a new year. We all have ambitions and plans and goals that we want to accomplish. And believe me, I'm always in favor of pursuing goals and hard work. But I think it's important that we take a minute to ask ourselves if our plans are lining up with God's plan. There have been several times throughout my life, and specifically my marriage, that I've had to surrender things, sometimes even good things that I thought were important or a major part of my plan. That key word there is my plan. Whenever I come to these crossroads, it can be scary and hard to trust God, but God is always faithful. And each time I surrender my own plan is when I have seen God open doors and thrust me into more than I could ever imagine. Philippians 2.7 says he, that's Jesus, gave up his divine privileges. He didn't just stop because he could. He was looking at the bigger picture, God's greater purpose, which was relationship with us. We often equate surrender to failure or losing, but in fact, with God, it's the opposite. Surrender isn't a loss. It's entrusting your victory to God. Sometimes surrendering one thing will lead you to breakthrough with something else. God's plans are far greater than anything we could ever imagine. I believe he wants to show you some of his plan for you this year. As you pray and spend time with God today, ask the Holy Spirit to guide you and show you what you can or should surrender in order to step into everything that God has for you this year. We're in the home stretch of our fast, so press in. I really believe that breakthrough is coming for you, and God is eager to take you deeper and further when we posture our hearts to surrender in 2022. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow night.